you have a Ford van and it's either winter or summer, it's extremely hot or cold, and you go to use your heat and it's not working at all or it only works on high. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Check this fuse right here, number 13. This is underneath the driver's side part of the dash. You can take some needle nose pliers, pull the fuse out, take a look at the fuse, make sure it's not burnt and make sure it's still connected on the inside. i just put that back in. And you can also test it with a test light. Just have one side on ground and then the other side with the key on. You wanna test this side of the terminal of the fuse and then test this side and make sure the test light lights up on both. There's one more fuse we need to check and that one's under the hood. Right here's where the fuse box is. Pull the panel cover off. And we're looking at fuse number 17, which is actually this 50 amp fuse right there. Now you can do the same with the test light. Hook one side to ground. And test both sides. Make sure it lights up. If it does, it's good. If not, then you gotta replace it. Pull it out carefully. And take a look at it. Make sure it's not burnt. Make sure it's still connected. There will be a little hole in the middle. That's normal. If one of those fuses is blown, either you have a wiring issue or the blower motor or another component in the system is drawing too much current. Fuses don't just blow on their own. Assuming those fuses are good, let's move on to the blower motor. The blower motor on this vehicle is located on the outside right here behind the battery. Normally there's a battery in this position, so it's not that easy to access. The connector is located right there. We need to disconnect this connector and see whether there's power and ground going to this connector. The hard part is because of the battery, it's not gonna be easy to access. Another thing you can do before you even disconnect that connector, turn the key on with the blower motor on high and just take a screwdriver or even a hammer and just try to tap on the motor. The blower motor starts up, you're gonna need a blower motor. It's only a temporary fix. The reason why this works sometimes is there's brushes and contacts inside the blower motor and sometimes they get a little rusted or the contacts are bad. It just moves a little bit and then it'll start up. Disconnect the connector. Just pull on the tab and slide it out. There we go. And look at the terminal, see if there's any corrosion in there or if it's melted or anything. And these look pretty good. When we test this with the test light, we're gonna check the orange and red wire. That's what you're gonna have your power. So with the key on, you wanna take one end of the test light and have it on the ground side. So you're gonna have your battery here connected and then lightly touch that terminal and the light should light up. And then if that's good, then we're gonna test the ground side, the red wire with the black line in it. Take your test light and you're gonna put it on the positive side of the battery. With the key on and the switch in the full high position, then you're gonna test that terminal. Just lightly touch it and the light should light up. If the test light came on and you have power and ground there, you're gonna need a blower motor. If you didn't have ground at this connector, you're gonna have a problem with the switch or the wiring between the two. Now let's take a look if the blower motor is only working on high. If your blower motor works on high, we know most of that stuff is good. We don't have to test all those things. We know the fuse is good, we know the relay is good, and we know the blower motor is good. And most likely the wiring going to the blower motor is okay. Remove the battery and remove the tray. And then we can access the resistor. Now that's the common part that people are gonna think of when you don't have any of the lower speeds on the blower motor. But you definitely wanna check this before you just order a resistor. Take a look at the connector. See if the connector is melted or if the terminals are corroded. There's a little bit of rust on these terminals, but you may not even be able to disconnect that. Sometimes these are so melted to the resistor itself that you can't actually disconnect it. 
This is what the resistor looks like, and this is what's gonna control the speed of the fan. So it's gonna lower the amperage going through it, and that's what controls that. And the reason why it works on high is because when the switch is in the high mode, it doesn't even go through the resistor. It just bypasses the resistor and goes straight to the fan or the blower motor. With this out of the vehicle, it may be obvious that some of these are burnt or they're disconnected, and then you know it's bad and it's gonna be replaced. Or you can take a meter, make sure you have it on ohms, put it on this terminal right here, and go through and touch the other terminals and see what you get. If it's an open circuit, then it's obviously gonna be bad. But if you have something there, then the fan should have done something. The values are gonna change slightly. There's three ohms right there with that middle one. And the one on the end, about four ohms for that one. So it's gonna change. So if you have something, then it should work. The last thing you wanna check is the switch itself. You're gonna to have to pull this out of the dash. It's pretty easy to get to. And the back of the switch. Grab the connector, slide it out. Take a look and see if anything's melted on these. It's very common for these to melt. In that case, you're gonna to have to replace the switch and the connector itself. Overall, these Ford vans are really simple and most of them are the same. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.